have you heard of this disease multiple myeloma? Well, if you have not, that is what I'm here to talk to you about. I'm Dr. Neema Bhatt, Senior Consultant Hematologist, Bone Marrow Transplant Physician, and Pediatric Oncologist, currently practicing in Fortis Hospitals, Bangalore, as well as I'm the Program Director of the BNT Unit at Bhagwan Mahavi Jain Hospitals, Bangalore. Multiple myeloma is the second most common blood cancer, or we call it hematological malignancy. It accounts for about 10% of all blood cancers that are diagnosed all over the world in India. So approximately about 1.6 lakhs to 2 lakhs people are diagnosed with multiple myeloma every year. Previously, this disease, this blood cancer, was considered not very treatable and usually came with almost a death sentence within about a year of diagnosis. But now with the recent advancements we have made in medicine as well as in hematology, if the diagnosis is made at the right time and the patient's physical condition permits a robust treatment, it's, this is a very treatable disorder. So, what are the symptoms that you should be able to identify um, if your doctor is considering multiple myeloma? Most patients will present with fatigue or feeling very tired all the time. Patients can have bone pains, which is usually not like your pain that you get after working out or after working for a long time. These bone pains are usually present in the back bone in your hip bone, sometimes in your shoulder, and sometimes in the back. Patients can also present with feeling very tired, looking very pale, and they can have bruises or tiny little blue patches all over their body because of the reduction in their platelet counts. When uh, multiple myeloma can also affect the kidney functions. So patients, when they are tested um, for blood tests, uh, they, the physicians can find low counts. So hemoglobin can be low, the platelets can be low, total count can be low. They can also present with reduced urine output and um, uh, changes in their kidney function. So a number called creatinine can be up. So what is done to treat multiple myeloma? Usually we start off with the simplest treatment. First, after establishing the diagnosis and the staging. As part of the staging, we get various blood tests and also perform a very small procedure called bone marrow aspiration and biopsy, which is basically a procedure where we look at the factory site where blood is produced and see what exactly is causing this abnormal cell and protein production. After this, we start with a few cycles of very simple chemotherapy that requires usually the patient to visit the hospital or the daycare, uh, like ours, approximately once every week to two weeks. Uh, and this intense cycle lasts for about four months. If the disease is under control and the patient is in a good state of physical fitness, patient is, patients usually advise to undergo bone marrow transplant. If the patient is not physically fit enough or old, elderly or older um, and we feel that they cannot tolerate a bone marrow transplant, we continue them on these chemotherapy or medications and make sure that they have a good uh, standard of living as well as a quality of life. As a metologist, multiple myeloma is a very curable disorder, but it has to be picked up at the right time. So don't hesitate to carefully watch your symptoms. If you have tiredness, recurrent fevers, recurrent infections, multiple bony pains, you feel that you're getting bluish patches or you're having excessive bleeding, make sure to consult your physician or consult a hematologist directly. A hematologist is the best person to diagnose as well as treat multiple myeloma in the correct way to give you the best outcomes and results. Thank you.